three dangers of discarding the narcissist. Three dangers of leaving them. Three dangers of trying to move on with your life. Everyone always talks about going no contact. They always talk about leaving the narcissist as though this is such an easy thing to do. But it's not. It may actually be one of the most difficult things you have to deal with in your life. And while I don't want to discourage you from leaving the narcissist, I think it's important that you are aware of what could happen if you do leave them. If you are aware of the likely effects of doing this, you will be in a better position to protect yourself. So I am not saying that you shouldn't discard the narcissist. In most situations, this is your best option. And while it may be difficult at first, your life will be a lot easier once they're out of it. You will have more time and energy to focus on things that replenish you and make you better. Rather than constantly having to defend everything that they're trying to destroy. If you don't discard the narcissist, your life will be miserable forever. Unless they eventually decide to discard you. But if you continue being the narcissist doormat, there is a chance that they will never leave. They're not going to leave a situation that benefits them, which is why sometimes you have to make the first move. You have to take action. In most situations, this is the best thing you can do, even though it may be challenging in the beginning. You will soon begin to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But I do not advise discarding them if they have a history of physical violence. Because I don't want to put you at risk of physical harm. So please take this into consideration. If you are dealing with a narcissist who is physically abusive, seek resources in your local area that can support you. But even if the narcissist doesn't have a history of physical violence, please be cautious. as you never know how they might react when you discard them. They might do things that you haven't seen before. There is nothing more painful to a narcissist than rejection and exposure. It hurts them more than anything else. And then they will say or do whatever they think will hurt you the most. So please protect yourself. Use this information to guide you and together we can make this world a safer place. Discarding the narcissist can be dangerous. It is likely to bring about something unwelcome and unpleasant. It is likely to cause harm to you. If you know what's coming, you can put yourself in a better position to protect yourself. You will be ready, because you already have an idea of what they're going to do. So here are three dangers of discarding the narcissist.
one narcissistic rage. When you discard the narcissist, it's going to cause a narcissistic injury, which will be followed by narcissistic rage. They will be very angry because their self-worth and self-esteem has been injured. It's affected their opinion of themselves. So now to build themselves up, they have to tear you down. They have to put you beneath them. They may do this passive aggressively, or it may be more overt. They will say horrible things about you. They will insult you and put you down. They will say whatever they think will hurt you the most. Whatever they think will make you feel worthless. Because that's exactly how they feel. And they want you to feel the same way or worse. They elevate themselves at your expense. But if they're not satisfied that their words have had an effect on you, they may even become physically violent. They may throw things at you. They may damage your property. Because they're trying to get a reaction out of you. They want to intimidate you. They want you to be afraid. Because when they put you in a state of fear or shame, they feel like they're in control. And that is the purpose of their narcissistic rage. It's designed to put them back in control again. By making you fearful or ashamed. Because in that state, you are less likely to take action. You are more likely to follow their agenda. Which is what they want. They don't want you to think for yourself or make your own decisions. They want you to follow whatever they have laid out for you. Which is why when you start thinking for yourself, they get very angry. Because they feel like their pet is escaping. They feel like they're losing control. And when they know that you want to leave them, it reflects back to them that they're not good enough. It makes them feel inadequate. So while it may seem like they're attacking you, they're actually just attacking a reflection of themselves that they don't like. Two stalking and harassment. The narcissist never respected your boundaries and when you decide to leave them, that's not going to change. Unless they have other sources of supply, they will stalk and harass you because they feel like you have beaten them to the discard. They feel like you have won. And if there's one thing narcissists don't like, it's losing. But you didn't see it as a game. You escaped for your own safety. You were in severe emotional and physical danger, so you had to get out. But the narcissist doesn't see it that way. They see it as though you abandoned them, as though you left them without help or support. They believe that you had no right to leave, because in their minds you belong to them. You are meant to serve them. You exist to make their lives more convenient. You're not supposed to think for yourself. 
you're not supposed to have free will. Or at least, that's how they want you to think. They want to have this boundary relationship with you, where their supply is on tap 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So that they can feed from you and leech off your energy and resources. But when you discard the narcissist, you cut off their supply. So naturally, they will stalk you. And the stalking can last for months or even years. Even if you try to go no contact, some narcissists will still find ways around it. Smear Campaign When you discard the narcissist, it means that there was a problem. It means that something was wrong. But the narcissist doesn't want anyone to see them as being at fault. They don't want anyone to see them as being the cause of it. They want to be seen as the ones who are suffering the effects of it. So when you discard the narcissist, they will play the victim. And they may have been doing this before you even discarded them. Because that is how they get supply. They will say horrible things about you to other people. They will portray you as this bad or crazy person. They will rewrite the past. They will exaggerate your faults and mistakes. They will lie. They will do anything to make you look bad. They want you to look bad. Because that is how they regain their sense of control over you. When you discard the narcissist, they may not accept it. They may not be happy about it. They may try to rewrite the narrative, but you need to remember why you're doing it. You need to remember everything that you had to endure. Know your worth. Know that you deserve to be treated better. You deserve respect. And let that guide you to a healthier situation. Don't let your fears consume you. Instead, focus on doing what you love. Focus on things that you are passionate about. Things that you couldn't do while you were around the narcissist. Get back to doing things that make you happy. After everything you went through with the narcissist, you deserve some time to relax.
You deserve some time to focus on yourself and to rebuild everything that they try to destroy. It may be difficult in the beginning, but in time, you will discover a sense of freedom and everything will begin to make sense. You will be thankful that you left the narcissist. You will realize that you made the right decision. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.